What's going on, y'all? Now look, y'all, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all for real. Derrick Rose deserves that six man of the year award. Period. Bottom line, man. And I may be biased because he's from Chicago, my hometown. That's one of my favorite players to watch. But I truly feel he deserves that award for several reasons. Now, I know what y'all think, and I know y'all going to throw out a whole slew of other guys that y'all feel like are equally deserving or some that you feel are more deserving. Uh, case in point, Lou Williams. Sweet Lou. That's my guy. I love Lou. I love Lou's game. I feel like he's one of the most prolific scorers in the game, period. But to me, y'all, Lou be out here cheating. I love Lou, but Lou be cheating. Lou be playing starters minutes and just coming off of the bench. Lou be out here. He's, Lou averaging like 20-something a game. I don't even know. He might be the Clippers' leading scorer, for real, for real, and coming off of the bench. There is no way in hell that Lou Williams should be coming off of the bench. But he does it anyway, and Lou be out here trying to rack up them six man of the year awards, them trophies, man. He be trying to rack up them trophies, but uh-uh-uh, no, 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 like, like Matumbo say. Um, some people might throw out Spencer Dinwiddie, and I didn't know Spencer Dinwiddie was a baller like that, family. I, I, didn't, I didn't know he could hoop like that, bro. I really did not know. He shot me, and uh, I'm going to be real with y'all. I found out about him due to the fact that, you know, my homie had him on his fantasy team, and he was putting up 28. 25 a game, certain games, you know, you put on 25, 28. But it was games where Derek was doing that. Derek didn't have 30 point games. That 50 point game on Halloween, he's hit some crucial baskets for Minnesota to win some games. Um, case in point, that game against Phoenix tonight, he hit some crucial baskets to get Minnesota out of there 135, 130. They beat the Washington Wizards, and Pooh finished with 29 points, like three rebounds, three assists, uh, a steal. But the man was, he was scoring in prolific ways, man. He wasn't even, not even attacking the whole time. It was that mid-range jumper killing the Washington Wizards all night. Mid-range killing them. And, you know, with the dribble, crossing them over, he still, he still got that quickness. Still got explosiveness after all of those knee surgeries. And to be playing like that, and what he scored, 29 points in like 30 minutes of play. 29 and 30 minutes, man. And, um... Was shooting the ball well. And it just shows me like Derek be really playing for the most part. He really plays bench player minutes and still finds a way to be effective and help the team in some shape, form, or fashion, man. Now, I know there aren't they aren't over 500 right now. So you're going to say, well, how much is he really helping the team winning? But a lot of them games that they won, they wouldn't have won without Derek's input on the scoring. In scoring, period. They wouldn't have won a lot of those games without Derek scoring. And, um, like, truthfully, I feel like Minnesota was misusing him a lot, of, a lot of the year. A lot of the year, having him standing in the corner like he's a catch-and-shoot player. Although he has improved his three-point shooting percentage this season, he boosted it a lot. But he's fell off recently. You know, he's trending down due to the fact that <clears throat> he's, look, it's not falling right now. He's going to find it again, though. I'm hoping that Minnesota can make some type of playoff push and they can get into the playoffs. So Derek can really show how effective he is in the postseason and, you know, shows what he brings to the Timberwolves. Because he showed it last, last year in the playoffs when they played Houston the first round. Gave him some great minutes and was out there doing his thing. He was getting busy. Uh, I think if you put Derek in the same position this year, he's, he's, he going to get busy. And he's going to show how effective he is at the point guard position. position. And I told people at the beginning of the year, this is no flack to Jeff T. But Derrick Rose is a better basketball player than Jeff Teague. I never in my life ever thought Jeff Teague was a better player than him. And I said this in other videos before. Tyus Jones either. You know, but um, hey, he gotta live with what he gotta live with the circumstances. They're not gonna start Teague. They're not gonna start Derrick over Teague and they pay Teague, Teague all that bread. And Derrick out here getting two mil a year, the two two mil for this this one year. So of course Derrick gonna come off of the bench. But I like the fact that Derrick's just playing his role. He cool. Listen, I'm going to get my time. It's all good. Uh, whatever helped the team win. But he's out there and he's attacking and he's being aggressive. And uh, he's getting in where he fit in. He's still finding his ways to be effective and do what he naturally does best, which is score the basketball. So I'm happy for that, man. But to be from what it, to come from where that man came from last year, with guys writing him off, saying he's done, he never going to be the same, he never coming back, people were saying this is the end of the road. They were singing a Boys of the Men song. Oh, we go 
to the end of the road. They really thought my mans was really like, they was writing them off. And um, it hurt my heart because I know that that kid can still play basketball. And I know he's, he he a hooper, man. A hooper's hooper. Straight up and down, man. And um, I knew if he got the opportunities um, that he deserved, that he would show what he could do. And thank, thank the Lord, man. Thank God that Tips took a chance on him when other teams didn't, and he was able to showcase his abilities. Now Tips is gone. Uh, they got the young guy. Uh, is that? I think it's, no, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, in the comment section. I believe that's uh, <clears throat> the late, Great Flip Saunders' son is now coaching the team. Uh, and, um, you know, Derek has some games where he's not playing strong minutes, some games where he's playing strong minutes, and some games where he's not – he really not playing a lot of minutes, but he's still coming in and scoring quickly and scoring in bunches in small periods of time. And it's helped Minnesota in tremendous ways, man. Carl Anthony Towns went down. Derek stepped up. Uh, he went down with a knee injury in the fourth quarter. Derek stepped up and hit some two like two, like some big shots. Specifically, one at the end, like with like forty or thirty some seconds left, I believe, and uh, hit a jumper to really get him the lead and push him over the top to get this win. They needed this win tonight, and again, man, I think Derek deserved it, man. Lou Will, Sweet Lou, be playing minutes like a starter. He could, be, I, I correct me if I'm wrong. I think he leaned the Clippers in scoring. So I'm like, how the heck is Lou? Like, Lou be out here. How you coming off of the bench, bro? Lou be cheating, and I know he just passed Jamal Crawford for the most uh, points, by, points by a bench player. So, it's like, mm, nah, Lou, you my mans, but Lou, you be cheating at a war sometime. Lou. You, sometimes you be cheating at a war. But uh, Spencer Diddy, Dinwiddie is another guy who's been tremendously effective. So, I would like, you know, I'm not mad if people got Spencer Dinwiddie in it. He, hey, he's well deserving of that award, especially with his offensive output that he's doing, man. Doing some fantastic things. And uh, his team, Brooklyn, they balling well. Him with the, uh, who phone is that? I don't know. But yeah, him along with, um, uh, what's my boy name? D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo playing some great ball too. So I'm never going to act like he doesn't deserve that, man. I'm never going to act like he doesn't. Uh, be, he isn't deserving of getting that respect for the award. But I want my boy D Rose to get it, man. I think Derek is deserving of it. And um, to be where he come to be where he came from, out of the darkness. And it's not all about a narrative or a story. Derek is playing some good basketball too. He's playing really good basketball, averaging 18 a game. Probably, hopefully, he can push it up to 19 towards as the season ends. To get it to 20, he's gonna have to have some big, big games. To get to that, to push it up two more points, he's going to have to have some big games. 30, 35-point games, stuff like that, to push it to 20 points a game is average. But uh, averaging 18 a game this year, and uh, it's looking really, really good, man. Started off the season strong, hitting that three. Fell off recently, but man, I'm, I'm so I'm so proud of Derek, man. Derek has held, held his own doing his thing. and been nothing but positive. And I see that the guys love playing with him. And I saw it when he had that 50-point game and how the team responded to him. And they really like him as a person. And Carl Anthony Towns said, we don't like him, we love him. And it shows on the court, man. Um, he seems like he's a great influence for the younger guys. Never getting into all these beefs and all that with him like Jimmy Butler was up there doing, being a horrible leader. Um, but still, man, he, he's playing some great basketball. And I think he should be, re be re rewarded. I'm sorry. He should be rewarded. With that six man of the year trophy, man. That's all I gotta say, man. Machiavelli Mills TV. Peace.